103.5 KTU, yes. the beat of New York. It is Carolina Bermudez with Greg T in the morning. And we have Paul Russell, yes. everybody. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Right, yeah, because you, you came out, like you said, with just a little snippet. And then it's almost like you had to backtrack, you yeah, know, like yeah. fill in the blanks kind of thing. Was that more challenging for you as an artist? It was weird. I, I mean, I think... Uh, I liked the fact of like making something and knowing already like mm. there's support for this once yeah. I finish it, you know. Uh, well, but yeah, I mean, it definitely is weird because it usually starts as I have a song and I'm like, how do I promote it? But this time it was like I have all of the people waiting for the song and now I just have to make it, which I don't know. I liked it because I like the part of making the music gotcha. way more than the marketing part. <laughs> and you, and you, you just hit on something like you're like, wow, it exploded and your your new life just took off. So where were you one year ago today? Like today, one year ago, what are you doing? Wow, a year ago? Uh, today. Today, what is today? First week we today gotta find out. Today is September 20 something. September 20 something. Yeah, so, <laughs> there 20 we go. something uh, so I'm, yeah, what's, what's what, life yeah. like for Paul Russell? Working a day job uh, at, at a tech company. You're is, kidding me. Yeah. Wearing like yeah. a suit and tie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes. It's like for big meetings, I was wearing a suit and tie. Right. Yeah, for not, sometimes I'm sitting at home. <laughs> but, so a year uh, ago, you're like in a boardroom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not just a year ago. This is like a month ago, like a month wow. and a half ago. Yeah. <laughs> That's bizarre. Well, no, but you know what is so great about this? And I love that you're sharing this with us because there are so many people who have these passions, whether it is music or art or right. whatever it is that really speaks to them, but they're working these jobs and they're listening to us as they're going to school or work or wherever it is. And, you know, I think it's so motivational to hear that somebody took that step and you took the leap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we don't hear these stories anymore. There are a lot of people who are kind of, I, I don't want to say groomed, but they're brought up in the industry. True. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? So I think that's really special. Yeah. I remember like looking at a lot of my favorite artists and feeling like, oh my gosh, like all of these people you know they had some huge celebrity put them on in the beginning like or who, like like who? They, give us some examples wow like, okay uh i mean it's hard to find example people that aren't an example i mean someone like drake obviously yeah. you know there's the whole like Lil wayne and there's people yeah. like you know or you just you know there's people who they were on a tv show they were on reality tv they mm -hmm. were you know whatever uh which made it kind of scary for me because it's like, okay, I want to do music, but like people who are doing that at a big level, you know, there's a path for that that maybe I'm late to the to the game on. But, but where does your passion for music come from? Like, what's your background in music? So, I mean, my my parents are big fans of music. My dad like loves jazz. Uh, no one played music really, but everyone was just a big fan. And so, uh, I just you know, I remember my parents told me they always tell me that like. When I was a kid, I got kicked out of preschool once because at nap time, I would always like hum along to the songs that they were playing and they were like, you gotta go to sleep. So, <laughs> and I was waking up the other kids and they were like, he's, he's gotta go, we're sorry. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've always liked music and been passionate about it, but it took a while to decide I actually wanna do it because it was, you know, it was a fun thing, but it was like, you know, I was doing that job and feeling like, okay, I have a career ahead of, ahead mm -hmm. of myself and so, you know, it, music was always kind of that thing on the side that it was like, oh, I love doing this in my free time, but you know, uh, I can't just be a musician. But I mean, now now it's happening. So it, right. it uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think for me, it was just like over time seeing the way that it had an impact on people and seeing it like make people happy and right. make people, you know, I, I care a lot about community. And I think the music like creates community in, mm -hmm. in like the type of music that I make I think of it as like cookout music like it's stuff that you listen to with your friends and it's like you know I want to be able to put people in those settings where they're just having a good time and feeling less alone you know speaking of that me and Carolina were talking before you came in like right now in music it's all about breakup songs and I hate you songs <laughs> and all of a sudden here comes Paul Russell with this song that just makes you feel so good for instance like all over social media you know the song is like about you going after this girl but yet people are like having it on in the background while they're cooking or yeah. while they're cleaning or while they're doing anything it's just putting everybody in such a great mood so is that like your niche is that what you are literally going after yeah yeah yeah, yeah, that's definitely the goal. That's definitely the goal. It's like, I mean, I just, I see how much happy music has had an impact on me. Right. You know, and I also think, like, to your point, yeah, I, I think there's not that much of that music right now. Like, uh, you know, sometimes, I remember in college, a lot of times I DJ at, like, random events or, you know, and if it's some happy celebration thing, you're playing music 
that's old. You're playing like stuff from maybe the 2000s, maybe 2010s, the 70s. We even said 2010s, like 2010s, 2010s was that was sweet a great spot, little spot, right? right? Yeah. yeah. But like you're not playing. You don't. You don't put on a, a recent song for something. So you know, at a wedding, there's point. not that many new songs that you can't play, play WAP at the wedding. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's hey, just, not, yeah. Well, no. well, maybe you could. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> I'd be fun. But yeah, no, it felt like okay. There's there's an open space here, and I mean that's what I like to make. So it just happened. And then retroactively, I was like, oh, I guess this is a thing I should keep doing because people are, you know, connecting with it. So what's next for you? So, like, as the record label sat you down and said, okay, we need to put it together an album, like, what, what's next on the horizon for you? So I've got, I've got singles uh, that I'm, I'll probably release, uh, you know, probably, probably do a single before the end of the year or at the top of next year. We're trying to figure too? out. Oh, hey, that's already coming. That's a good one. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Hey, he what, knows. He has been stu- when I tell you, this guy has never studied for anything in yeah. his life. But I you, love it. he he knows that you went to Cornell. He told me he's like <laughs> he went to Cornell. I did. He's, yeah. and I said, he's brilliant. He's, he's so, so smart. He's so smart. I mean, listen. Well, who else goes to Cornell? I could never go to Cornell. <laughs> our, our senior vice president of programming, Tom Pullman, I believe. Did he go to Cornell? Did Tom go to Cornell? Cornell. Yes. Yeah, so wow. he was a Let's smarty go. pants. Hey, all but you right. Know what? I actually thought of that too because you know whenever you're in this industry right you know because we work in radio and you're an artist and you work in music you have your parents and they think that they have this path for you you have a plan and then you go to like this really amazing school like Cornell and they think like he's going to be set we don't have to worry about it (laughs) exactly and then you come and you're like mom dad uh, I'm going to be an artist you know so it's it's all worked out for you though it worked out yeah I mean and it was definitely a thing that I was scared of my my parents have been super supportive which is awesome about I think in the beginning it was like, okay, I can't just be a musician, which it it definitely helped that initially the goal was, okay, I'm just going to do this like job thing, do this corporate stuff and like have music on the side because, you know, I was able to do that for a while until the music was big enough that I could be like, hey, parents, I can quit my job. Look at my bank account. <laughs> right, right, right. No, definitely. Yeah. And they're worried about that. But yeah. now, what was the reaction from your family and friends when you saw Jennifer Lopez dancing on a table <laughs> to your song? Yeah. Like, I mean, it really has just yeah. it has a life of its own. Yeah, yeah. It's it's insane. It's like every I was I was telling I was talking to a friend like I have so many moments where people will send me a video and I don't realize they're sending it to me because they're saying your song is playing. And I'll have it on mute, and I'll be like, oh, this is a cool video. Like, oh, I saw yeah. this. Oh, you saw this. And then, like, days later, I'll look at it again, and I'll, I'll have the sound on and be like, wait, wait, wait. This is my, this is my song. So <laughs> it's just everywhere. It's wild. It doesn't Where make were sense. You? The first time you heard it on the radio, where were you? I was in an Uber. Yeah, I was in an Uber. That's which was <laughs> and you're like, do, do you know what this is? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is amazing. It's, it's wild. And now it's like, I people, the, the more recent thing is people keep sending me, like, it's on the commercial for The Bachelor. Yeah. So people keep being like, I was watching this, and then it came out. So it's, yeah. I'm I'm over the moon. So a humble wow. king, cool you know. This is just the beginning. No, really, it, it truly is. And I I do have to give Greg T credit when I tell you. Thank you, thank you. Because <laughs> yeah, we started finally. off the interview, and he thought I was being negative, but I really do mean it. When when you have the support of people that are in this industry that really believe in you, and it's so true. Greg T said it's not scheduled. We're playing it. It yeah, doesn't right. matter. Uh-huh. He went down to Z, and all the other stations was like, you guys are missing the boat on this one. Totally. So wow. you know, you have a lot of love and support from us here at KTU. Thank now, you. I have one more question for you, and then I'll turn it over to nope, Greg T. I'm almost done. I can't believe it. Oh, he's that. almost done. He's almost done. Besides, like, high-fiving him and, like, chest bumping, I don't know what else yeah, we do. Yeah, we got to leave time for yeah. that, though. Exactly. We gotta get I'll let you guys bro out in a second, but is Greg T. invited to the cookout? Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. He's invited. He's oh, invited. Dude, Come nice. on. <laughs> I'm a huge fan, dude. I love you now. This is great. <laughs> well, likewise. I'm telling man. you, I don't flip out over, like, major celebrities, and, like, here you are, this rising celebrity, and I'm going bonkers, man. <laughs> hey, well, I love it. You're good stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. You want to go? Just go. Oh, go ahead. Keep, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So before I do let you go, so what about Poly Sci and what about Glossier? Will they all be on the album? <laughs> ah, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, okay. I, I think I think we'll have new stuff for the okay. album just because, you know, why not? And will you be um, collaborating with other people? Yes. I, I don't I don't know any who I'm going to collaborate for sure yet, so I'll, you know, But the we'll label's see. setting things up yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm in sessions all the time right now, which wow. is cool. It, it's like, you know, every every week, you know, two or three times a week, I'm just spending the whole day in the studio. So, a lot of new music on the way for sure. Has it hit you yet? Like, I mean, have you absorbed it like you are a rising star, you are a musician now? Has that finally set in? 
Honestly, no. I mean, it is wild when people go, you know, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm a musician. Or yeah. when people like come up to me and they're like, oh, I love your song or, you know, whatever. Like, that's insane. But I think it still hasn't necessarily hit yet. It still feels like, okay, I'm just, you know, same life, but just like doing different stuff. Mm. But uh, I think it's coming. Like things, I feel like every day there's a new thing where it's like, oh my gosh, what is happening? Well, yeah. listen, I wish you the best. I really do. I'm super excited for you. Uh, I'm finally happy that this radio station is finally playing the song, <laughs> which is great. And, uh, I mean, really, I can't wait to see you at Yankee Stadium selling out Met Life. I mean, that's where I see you going these days. Hey, thank you. Well, you'll be backstage. Yes. Oh, please don't out. do that to yourself. No, that's not, no, 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 no. You don't know what you just did. Oh, gosh, oh, no. no. Delete, delete, no. Uh, Come on. I was good with AJR, right? I knew they were going to be a smash. LFO. Oh, my God. He, right? he discovered all of these people, so. Uh, I, know. I did, I did, I did. I know, I know. Because well, when, you, when you hear something and you just know that it's it's going to be a smash, you jump on it, you got to, you know, like when you know your life wants to start, you got to start it right now. Wow. And I go right after it. It's good stuff, man. Well, if you need wow. a president of your fan club, he's right yeah, here. Yeah, sounds like you we can, found you it. You can have yes. Greg T. I'll Greg let T. you borrow him. Yes. 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 President of the fan club. <laughs> well, continued success to you. We cannot wait wait to see what's next yes. and le as we said before you always have a home here at ktu so thank you so much awesome thank we you guys you. thanks for having me right on man <laughs> right on thank you <laughs> carolina with greg t in the morning on 103.5 ktu